If you've read my book, The Plant Paradox, you probably know I've got an issue with the way food companies market food. Specifically, I've got a problem with all the ways they label food to make it sound healthy, even if it's terrible for you. Now, there's a whole section on this in my book, but today I want to talk about a few of the most used labels on packaged food. Labels that are meant to mislead you. First, all natural. As far as the USDA and the FDA are concerned, all natural means nothing. They haven't defined it. And since it's not regulated, anyone can use it on their packaging. And even though natural sounds healthy, it doesn't need to be. Sugar can be natural. So can wheat. So can arsenic, for that matter. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't buy foods with the natural label, but you should read the packaging first to make sure you're buying food that's not loaded in sugars, lectins, or unhealthy fats. Organic. I like organic food. In fact, I love organic food. But that doesn't mean all organic food is good for you. Organic cows and chickens can be fed organic corn and wheat, which are designed to fatten them and you up. And complete junk food can be organic too. Just take a look at the organic section of your local store. You'll see organic cookies, organic ice cream, even organic potato chips. It may have a fancy label and cost twice as much, but junk food is still junk, organic or not. Another one of my favorites, heart healthy. As a cardiac surgeon, this is my biggest pet peeve. You see, the FDA certifies food as heart healthy, foods it wants you to eat and eat a lot of. Let me put it this way, Fruit Loops, the super sweet sugary cereal, certified heart healthy. Avocado, salmon and nuts are not certified heart healthy. The heart healthy label has very little to do with what's actually healthy, but it's got a lot to do with what the food industry wants you to spend your money on. Things like sugar, wheat and corn. So don't look for the heart healthy label when shopping. Instead, look for real foods that are proven to boost heart health. Foods rich in omega-3s and polyphenols, for instance. Gluten-free. Okay, let me be clear. There are some people who need to look for the gluten-free label for health reasons. But gluten-free doesn't mean healthy. In a lot of instances, gluten-free foods actually have more lectins than foods with gluten because they're made with rice, corn, and lots of sugar. So when you're shopping, don't automatically assume that gluten-free is good for you, or for that matter, it means lectin-free. Instead, read those ingredient labels carefully. Finally, free range. You've probably seen the free-range label on eggs, poultry, even meat. But here's the lowdown about free-range. It basically means nothing. It's got zero to do with how animals live or what they eat. In fact, it's completely legal to cram animals full of corn, soy, and wheat and to keep them in overcrowded, dangerously cramped quarters and still call them free range, as long as they have access to a small patch of grass for five minutes a day. So instead of free range, look for pasture raised or wild meat and seafood. Those animals were raised the way nature intended and had the opportunity to eat the way nature intended. That means they had a better quality of life and are better for your health too. So what's the takeaway here? Labels are meant to mislead you and make you think foods are healthy. That way, 
you buy more. So don't get sucked in by flashy marketing. Instead, read ingredient lists thoroughly and do your research. It's the best way to protect your health. I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Do some squats while you're doing that. Come on. Mm -hmm. See, whatever you're doing, you can get some squats in. You watch it. This is going to be an outtake. I can see it right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video. And don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.